Welcome back to Walnut Springs. My name is Mike, and today I wanna to show you how easy it is to service the clutch on a Shimano rear derailleur. Let's get to it. The tools that you'll need are a pair of needle nose pliers or a small wrench, a two millimeter Allen key, a little bit of grease, and optionally, a torque wrench. So with the derailleur on the bike, you can see now the clutch is turned on and this would be in the off position. And if we were to actually push on the derailleur arm here, it will go in and out as it should whenever it's off. Now, whenever it's on, you should still be able to break free of the clutch, but it should not be this easy. That means that my clutch is in need of service and we're gonna do that by taking this plate off. So we're gonna go ahead and take off these three little bolts here. You can go ahead and set your derailleur clutch to the off position if you want. And you also don't have to remove your derailleur to do this maintenance. Now that we've got the three bolts off, this cover should just pop right off. And that's what it'll look like on the inside. Now you'll see there's two big parts for your derailleur clutch. There's this piece right here, which actually will be the portion that's gonna add more or reduce the tension that is on this tension band. You can see this little metal piece that goes around this kind of circular part right here. This actually clamps down on the little center part there. The tighter that this clamp gets means the harder it's going to be to break free and the tension is going to be much higher on this rear derailleur. So you wanna tighten this tension band down just enough to where it doesn't break free on rough surfaces, but if it needs to, it can break free so you don't damage your derailleur. So the actual adjustment will take place will be on this little knob right up here. It's very, very tiny and it takes a very small wrench. Some models actually have a way that you can tighten this without using a wrench, but this particular Shimano model does not allow that. One thing that you wanna be a little bit careful about and you'll probably wanna clean this is this little rubber gasket that fits right down into here. Sometimes this can pop off and if you lose this, uh, liquid can get in there and damage this clutch. So you definitely don't wanna lose this. You wanna clean it off and put it back into place. So you can re-grease this by pulling this whole piece apart. I'm not gonna do that this time because it looks like there's still some grease in there. And it looks like this is pretty clean overall. So real quick, let me show you how this works since we've got this open. This little piece here isn't completely round. So whenever it rotates, it actually pushes up on this tension ring on these two little arms that stick out by it. And if you look close enough, you can actually see it slightly squeeze them together. And the tighter that squeezes them, the harder it is for this derailleur to break free from the clutch. So for this little bolt to tighten it, you wanna go clockwise to tighten it, counterclockwise to loosen it. I'm just gonna use a small pair of needle nose pliers and we're gonna do about a quarter to a half turn on this first go. And I can already tell you right now that this is much tighter than what it was, but it still has some tightness to go. So there are two different ways that you can actually test this. On this particular derailleur, you can simply just put some force on here. And if it takes just a little bit for it to break free, that means that it is nice and tight and this one feels pretty good the other way to test it is with a torque wrench and you'll need to go down to four newton meters to test this you wouldn't want to go any higher than five on most of these derailers on this particular one i set it to four and i use a three millimeter allen key on the back of the derailleur where the pulley is there is a little place to put this allen key and we can test it there also so now you're Torque wrench set at four Newton meters should break the derailleur free at four Newton meters. There we go. Right about at four. That could be a little bit more than four, but I think we are good and we can put this back together. So we put this back together. I'm gonna put a little bit of grease where the gasket goes, just a tiny bit. And sometimes it's easier just to put some grease on the gasket and then 
Just make sure that this thing doesn't dry out on you. And it doesn't take a lot, so you can just spread this on there nice and evenly. Now this gasket will only go on one way, so you'll just have to find the orientation. Luckily there's nice sharp lines on part of this, so it makes it easy to line up. There we go. Now we can put our cap back on. And that only goes on one way, and it should just snap into place. And lastly, just put your screws back in to get the cap closed. And there you go, your clutch is all back together and you're ready to ride. That is how simple it is to service your clutch on your Shimano derailleur. I took way too long to get to servicing mine and it's a super easy fix that anybody can do with just a few simple tools. If you guys like this video, hit the thumbs up button, leave me a comment below. Did you know that this was this simple or have you done this before? And if you saw any tools in this video that you might need to do the service for yourself, look in the description below. I will put links down there. And if you use those links, they do help out the channel and I greatly appreciate that. And if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. As always, get out there, run, bike, build, and just have fun. We'll see you in the next one.